view. What I think doesn't matter. If you watch one of my videos, it's like you have played the game yourself. And then you should be able to make an informed decision because these games are expensive. They're crazy expensive and they're just getting more so all the time. And there's so many. Yeah, and there's so many. So that's what I'm all about. And this man loves me for some I reason. I watch it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's, you didn't say what your, your shtick is. Oh, oh, oh. So explain how you do it. Okay, yeah. well, um, well, basically, I'm a one-man operation, and I'm you know pretty do it. This is my baby. Oh, you okay? Good girl. You see what you ended up with? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I basically just lay out the game in front of me, set it up as a two-player game. I, this is weird. I'm sorry. I set it up as a two-player <laughs> game, um, and uh, I, I run through the game from the perspective of both <laughs> myself as the first player and my wife Jen as the second player. Yeah, I just do that because it's really easy for me to think in those terms. Because generally, Jen and I play so much, I know what she would do. I know the way she would play. And she plays very differently than me. She's much more conservative. She doesn't, she's risk averse. And so by doing that, by I make my move the way I would do it, I make her move the way I think she would, I end up showing several different facets of the game. Um, so you, again, get a much better idea of whether the game would be for you. All in the first person perspective. So. Yes, yeah, because yeah. it's all, so, so you just, again. So you just strap this in? Yeah. And then you're. Yeah, although, although like, unfortunately, are, um, I'm uh, right-handed, so I actually hold uh, it like this, and over the course, uh, this gets super hot. Oh, okay. So by the end, I'm on fire yeah, you're like, for you're, you, you're the bird, folks at burning home. your hands just we, for you. We need someone needs to make you like a uh, on the post here, yeah, like a, or, or a stick, so you can have like camera on a stick. Don't mess yeah. with the magic. No, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I actually, you know, I know the magic. Can it's, it's interesting. Some people have a real problem with the way I film because you know it is. It's, it's very a little. little it's a little dizzy. Yeah, sometimes. there's a little. There's a bit of image stabilization. This, yeah. but that's it. So oh, there is a lot of motion. Be, but uh, yeah, it's before I was using my iPhone and it was awful. Please, I would actually say almost don't watch my older videos. <laughs> but um, after I got this, I. Um, I think it captures, a, the games come to life in a way that you don't always see. I mean, I, what I don't want to do is get a tripod and put the camera up here, you know, far enough away so it's got the entire board on screen. Like that one? Yeah, like, like yeah. that one. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't want to do this because then I tend to think the game sits there. You know, it, it's kind of flat. No, and it's when very, you're playing it's the game, you're in there, you're engaged, you're focusing on this, you're focusing on these cards, and I want to capture that feeling. This is great. What's the name yeah. of your YouTube channel? Huh? What's the name oh, of your YouTube channel? Uh, YouTube.com slash Rado. R-A-H-D-O. R-A-H-D-O, which are my initials, Richard Allen Ham, and a D-O, because it rhymes with Frodo, because that was my old EverQuest character, Rado. Yeah. Fro you know, Frodo, Rado. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> He's part of the fellowship. I Yeah, I don't have the tattoo. In, in virtual space. <laughs> are you going to get a tattoo? No, no, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know where he well, anyway, you can his. see how his enthusiasm is kind of infectious, and oh, he, yeah. it shows in the videos. And I'm, I love him. Yeah. I watch him. All, I'm subscribed, and I get, I just hit the playlist and watch. He does it in three parts too. So he'll do yeah. intro gameplay, like he'll kind of just jump in, yeah. like no rules really. Sometimes a little, but, a little, but, yeah, but but you just boom, let's start. Honestly, I, cool. I don't think uh, giving you a rules overview really gives you the best idea of what the game feels like. Yeah, um, you know, and there's been a lot of discussion on our on our chat room today on how well, to how to explain how to teach the game. games, but also because how we're to doing make an here, engaging presentation. Right, is, is yeah, yeah. A different beast altogether, even from what you're doing. Yeah, too, yeah. Because we're asking not quite a sales pitch, but not quite a rules explanation. You know, yeah. we're asking for like the flavor presentation. Exactly. Yeah, and that's I mean, because that's what you really need to get across. I mean, I'm lucky. I worked for 20 years in the video game industry. So, you know, I've been media trained. I, you know, I, I know how to present. I know how to, that's what has been my job for a long, long time. And, you know, I appreciate, even though I have an amateur status, it's just, it's really simple for me to just get out there and start talking. I mean, today I spent an hour just walking around like this, commenting on everything I saw. <laughs> I'm not, I'm going to put it up there completely unedited, completely raw, so people can really know what it feels like to be here. It's not just a couple snippets of, oh, look at this booth, this booth, this booth. No, you're going to walk through all the crowds. Oh, awesome. I, 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 I almost kicked a baby. <laughs> Did you record today? Uh, yes, I did that Today's today. Today's the craziest day. Crazy yes, day. I know. I, yeah, I kind of did that on purpose. Okay. I don't know if I photo bombed you early, but I phoned, phoned oh. you. And I, I might have been talking louder than you guys when the demo was going on. I don't know. Picked you up on the mics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's good to have the mics. Well, um, so back to the to your show. Yeah. You cut it into three segments. Yes, yes, yes. Intro, like gameplay, like a couple turns, and then advanced gameplay. Yeah. So if you want to keep going, yeah. or if you advance to the end of the game sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then your third segment is your is, personal is what I think, So yeah. you could just 
you could watch the first segment and be cool with that. And, not, and never and exactly. your own opinion. And make your own opinions. Exactly, and then, yeah. But, you know, I like to hear uh, his opinions because, you know. Yeah, and, and you, you know, got a lot a specific, of games. You definitely know what you like. Yeah, oh, which totally. Is cool. I have a very specific You're not going to say, yeah. and I'm always like, oh, I traded this away. And I'm like, what? You traded that away? It's one of my favorite games. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Terrorist well, Defense, Terrorist yeah. Defense, specifically. It's, which it's, is like, you know, because it's a, you know, his, he doesn't like conflict games. Yeah, yeah. Or well, his because wife doesn't like conflict. My only gaming part, yeah. I live in a little tiny island called Malta in, you know, in the middle of the Mediterranean. Um, there are very few people on Malta who play board games. And actually, I don't even live on Malta. I live on this little island called Gozo. Uh, which Gozer. is just a farming island. Gozer. And so it's just me and Jen and nobody else. She's my only gaming partner. And so we know what we like. And, and the thing is, you know, I, I know people are really big into player interaction. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to virtually on a table punch my wife in the face and laugh about it. We don't get any joy out of that. So we're always looking for things. We want to share an experience. For us, though, multiplayer solitaire is not a dirty word. Because we're still at the table. We're still sharing experience. We're solving our own problems. You know, we're actually, so we're such care bears. We'll actually, gosh, honey, I just don't know what I should do. What do you think I should do? Because I mean, it's less about the winning. It's more about just sharing the yeah. experience. Because that's what board games are. That's what board games do better than really most any other popular form of entertainment right now. Movies, we'll just sit here quietly and maybe chuckle together. You know, video games, you know, we'll, we'll shout, yeah, suck it, noob. But, suck it you know, that's about it. <laughs> Board games. There's a blast from the past. Right yeah, you know it's what you guys capture so well. You know, in game night. I mean, it's all about just getting together and having a, a really great social experience, and that's what makes board games so special. Well, yeah, I, I run a large game group with uh, together with John in Chicago. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We sort of when people walk in for the first time, we sort of give our little speech. Uh -huh. and part of it is you're here to have fun, and if you're only here to win. Then yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not exactly. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yep. That's got its place, um, you know, and if, if those people can find themselves, that's wonderful. Right, exactly. But exactly. that's not what our group is all about. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, imagine yeah. trading games from, from Malta or from Goza is. Uh, oh my gosh, the shipping costs from Malta. <laughs> Malta so, so talk weird. a little bit about your Kickstarter. Is that kind oh, of yeah, oh, has yeah. fueled the fire? Oh, right? yeah, well, I, yeah. I suppose so. Well, I mean, yeah. I started out, I did this as a whim about a year and a half ago because somebody was saying, hey, why is there no video for Helvetia? And we really liked Helvetia. I figured, yeah, yeah, I figured, yeah. what the heck, you know? It's a big red box. Yeah, yeah, the big red box. Cromer, <laughs> that, um, one of the know. greatest game designers out there that hardly gets any. Thank you. Any press? <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Exactly. I completely yeah. agree. Yeah, I mean, he's a totally up and comer. And so I figured, what the heck? I just got out my iPhone. I just filmed it in one take, uh, put it up there, and people liked it. So I just kept going. Now at that point, I was still working full time, and um, so I really couldn't make the time to do it. But earlier this year, one of the nice things about living in Malta. The cost of living is so cheap. Malta is for British people like Florida is for American senior citizens. It's true. It's where British people go to retire. And so, um, you know, after I, I, I was doing a game design gig in Malta, I did a year. You know, it was interesting, and by the time it was over, oh, well, let's go back to England. We live in you know, what we consider ourselves British. I have actually sworn fealty to the Queen, by the way. Um, I will protect the realm if called upon. Um, but anyway, so we, we decided to stay because I could take time off. I, I've been working crazy hours, you know, not leaving the office for five. You know what it's like. We've been yeah, talking yeah. about this. Yeah, we were trying to figure out how to the work at home kind of thing. Yeah. So I figured, well, what the heck, let's take a year off, two years off to see how it goes. <clears throat> we figured out our finances could do it. One problem, couldn't continue to be getting board games. Um, that was going to be right out. Now that's fine. I got so many board games that, it, you know, we, we've got years worth of entertainment. But, um, you know, I was talking to people who enjoy my videos and said, hey guys, you know, I might not be covering so many new things anymore. And there was much hue and cry, and they um, basically no, browbeat me. It, yeah, yeah, they so. browbeat me into doing a Kickstarter campaign. You know, after, um, you know, Rodney Smith had done one and the Spiel guys had done one. And really, mine is um, interesting in that the only purpose for my funds is for me to continue getting games so I can cover them for you guys. Now. Let's be honest, there's a side benefit for me. I continue to get all the latest and greatest. So I'm not complaining. Now you don't keep everything you buy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I've got You're this fun. Um, but yeah, but God, yeah, and this show, I actually brought 30 games with me, carried them on the plane over because I was in this huge math trade, oh, right. selling a lot of games, basically so I can put it right back into the fund um, so I can, you know, take the keep, burden keep off the my cycle. backers. So yeah, that's what I do. And uh, that, oh, that um, actually allowed me to get the camera. 
That was hugely important, upgrading from the iPhone. I'm, not even, I'm just a guy with a camera. I'm, I'm nowhere near as fancy as this. I mean, you guys can, I mean, I'm sure you've got behind the scenes footage. But, oh, hello. <laughs> but uh, you know, I just enjoy it. It's just it's a, it's a fun thing. I love teaching Good games. Show. I love sharing Good the hobby. I'm show, incredibly passionate about it. I've come fairly late. I only really got started in 2009. What happened was, or actually, I should stop. I'm just talking and no, talking, no, and you're we being gotta, so polite. We another, we oh yeah, we gotta go. We got a couple more minutes. Yeah, gotta, okay. They're still setting up. So right. Oh, so fine. we're still stretching, stretching. Yeah, stretch now. Well, so 2009, um, we we were still living in England at the time. We had gotten a, a little camper van, and we were gonna do a nice two-week tour of France. And that was gonna be awesome. We were really excited about it. One of the things we love is doing travel. That's why we live in Europe. And um, I was uh, in Seattle on a business trip uh, for video games. I was uh, demoing at uh, PAX up in Seattle. And I was thinking, what are we gonna do for two weeks in this van? We won't have TV, won't be able to play video games. And you know, I remember, I remember when I was a kid, we had a copy of Travel Scrabble. Aww. And uh, you know, I thought, I should probably pick that up because that would be something we can do in the evening. And I went into this little shop. Shout out to it's Blue Highway Games in Seattle. Oh, I'm familiar with that. Excellent, excellent shop. I'm sure, I would have gone to yours if I was in Chicago. Sorry. Well, it's not mine. Yeah. So yeah. But I just went in there and I asked, "Hey, I'm looking for Travel Scrabble. Can you get it?" And I was like, "What's all this other stuff?" Travel. And you wanted another copy of Travel Scrabble? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he great. talked me down from it. The, the... Oh, he talked you down from yes, it. Yes. No. 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 Oh, no. No. Yeah. 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 He. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we talked for a while, you know, he, he found out what we like. Uh, he introduced me to you know, the fact that there are co-op games. I, I had no concept of that. My concept of board games was, well, yeah, there's Warhammer and, you know, and there's, you know, well, there's obviously all the standards. But he basically talked me into getting Monop or not Monopoly, uh, Pandemic. Oh, Pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah, that's great. We took it on the road and as much fun as we had touring through uh, all these, one this French countryside and all that, every night we were in a rush to get back to the van, huddled around this Same board of pandemic in like this really dim light. We could hardly <laughs> see anything lit from this one thing every night. Sort of appropriate yeah. the theme, you know? Yes, very, oh yeah, it was. And we got our butts kicked every single night. <laughs> we lost a different way every night. <laughs> and finally, on the fifth night, we won. And we were hooked. Um, and you know, we realized, you know, we've been married a long time, you know, over 20 years. And uh, for us, it's such a great couples activity. It's something that we can share that we really, really enjoy. I, I, I talk to so many geeks who, well, yeah, I, I want my, find a way to get your wife to enjoy this with you. It, it, it has really improved the quality of our marriage. It's given us something, we, we share geocaching, we have other activities, but you know, this, it doesn't consume, we try not to let it consume us, but I just, board games are awesome. Yes. I guess I'm preaching to the choir here. Well, very much so, and, and I see it from a different perspective yeah, too, what's because that? I use them in schools a lot. So oh, really? I the whole educational half of more things. Yes, I suppose that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Social development, academic development. I mean, that, that's kind of my soapbox. What I age range? I am a, actually a speech therapist, oh. and I co-teach in a special ed room for third through fifth graders. Okay. So for us, the skill level of the games we use are more preschool and kindergarten. Yeah. But the social part, because many of the uh, students in our special ed program have autism. Yeah, yeah. So to have to ask somebody for a piece, to have yeah. to say, hey, it's my turn, you're going again, don't do that. You know, all that is something that they really need a lot of practice in, uh -huh. and putting it within the structure of a board game where there are rules, it's predictable, I know what happens next. And it's really, fun. And it's fun, yeah, it really lowers the anxiety, yeah. gets that social piece out, then they realize, like, my, one of my favorites is uh, Ink and Gold. They have no idea they're doing the vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very sneaky. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. that, oh, you want to play this game? Sure, yeah, you don't know you're doing. You are creating story <laughs> problems that they can actually say, I understand this story. Yes, I mean, exactly. that's always yeah. a problem for teachers. Yeah, or like, um, why am I ever going to have to divide the number of beans in a, you know, that's brilliant. Yeah, like I was having a blast with uh, Rory O'Connor, just Rory Story Cubes. Yeah. Because that's one that's yeah, yeah. right in our butter zone for as educators as well. So. Let me ask you this, yes. as an educator, now of course you're, you're very focused in, but in a broader context, I was actually talking to several people online about colonialism. Which is a game that's here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Which is a game that's here at the show. Yeah. I haven't played. I think it's a, a fairly straightforward area control thing. But the interesting thing about it is, it presents colonialism. Well, we are colonist powers. You know, taking over in the Far East. The kind of stuff we've done in lots of games. You know, but the art of this game actually shows the um, the other side. That something as simple as eliminate local influence, which, oh yeah, we just play that card, and we move some cubes, and it actually shows the reality of what that meant. Which game is 
Um, it's called Colonialism. It's from uh, Spielworks. Oh, Spielworks. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I think, and I realize for yeah, some people, it's got it's, the chains on the right. On yeah, the box, yeah. Right? It, 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 it takes no prisoners, and I know for a lot of people. I mean, I, I was talking about it in my uh, uh, Essen preview, and people were like, "Wow, that's kind of creepy." Yeah, but I think to me, it's really exciting. It was. I, I had a moment like that today. We were doing SOS Titanic. Oh, and that's a good lift, example. Yeah. And, yes. And proofing that, like, I actually Does was having this emotional reaction, like it's. It, it, it hits in a way. Yeah, a very personal, emotional yeah. way because it's so straight. Exactly. And, yeah. Well, Richard, I'm sure we could, we three, yeah, we probably uh, yeah, could yeah, talk yeah. forever, hour. but we've got Have, I, have I filled the time yet? Can I do a, can I do a shout out for my oh, wife? Oh, yeah, yeah, do that. Okay. Shout, shout. You got your things? You may have noticed I'm uh, wearing. Ask me about. Ask me about. Richard, what is this thing about gamers class? I'm glad you asked. My wife is a glass artist. She mostly does, you know, big pieces, jewelry and stuff like that. But when I ran my Kickstarter campaign earlier in the year, um, we offered some of her jewelry because I didn't really have much in the way of, of you know, a high level backer Blink rewards. Stuff, yeah. And one person, actually a couple people asked, well, hey, I'd love to get the glass, but I don't need any jewelry. Could you make some game pieces? And so my wife has oh, been for the last pocket. few months, um, you know, okay. practicing. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I should have known that. I've seen so many people do that wrong. Um, <laughs> You know, now the camera does not really uh, capture no, these. No, no. Um, you know, the, the layers of depth. Yeah, there's like a lot and, of. Yeah, and the way the and, yeah, yeah, the way the light plays and, with them and yeah, all that. So it's got a little swirly effect on this orange one here. Yeah, beautiful. Clear. Yeah, yeah. No, even on the YouTube video that I saw. You know, yeah, and you know they they they're 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 really good. You know they they have a bit of weight to yeah. them. They're smooth. Um, she doesn't like me talking about this, but you, you know how sometimes when you're playing a game and you're deep in thought, you go like this. <laughs> They're like candy. They're so pretty. I'm sorry, sorry. And um, so uh, she actually, she decided, um, you know, she's had some interest. She sells them on Etsy. And she put me as a walking billboard to see if she could get any interest. And so since I've got a uh, audience here, I figure I might as well throw it out. If you're at all yeah, interested, you, you can go is. to gamerglass.eu. That's because we live in Europe, so it's EU. Plus the domain was cheaper, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah. Um, and it was available. So go to gamerglass.eu, you can check them out. And um, hi, honey. Hi. Um, <laughs> who's the best husband ever? That would be me. Yes, yes. Cool. We, were we able to switch the camera? Oh, okay. okay, cool. Cool. All right. Sure. It's John. I, mean, I, I taught you well. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure. The student becomes the master. Absolutely. Very good. Richard. Teach a man to fish. Thank you. Yeah. For, you were more than filler. You were desserts. <laughs> oh, oh, that is nice. Looking you're the best. <laughs> That's why you're the best. Looking forward nice. to your uh, your videos. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be uploading they, more tonight. That's why they pay me the big geek gold bucks.